Yeah, and it wasn't only Reese. We actually heard before the 19 season, uh, Chip Long, the offensive coordinator that preceded Tommy Reese, was also interviewed by Nick Saban in Alabama. Now, we don't know what the extent that happened. Not, now, that happened. He was interviewed. We don't know if he was ever a serious, if he ever, ever was a serious uh, competitor for the job. But I think that Tommy Reese's acumen for play concept, play design, play calling is extremely highly regarded, more so at the higher level of coaching, pros, college, than any fan base will ever, ever want to admit. A lot of times you look at a play and it doesn't work, and you say, well, he's a bad play caller. Clearly that is not how coaches look at these things. You look at what he was trying to do on the play, and look, man, I get it. If your quarterback, this has been my complaint at times too, if your quarterback is not good enough to run your designed plays and run your scheme, you have to bring it back a little bit. I don't think right. this was force feeding too much. Um, it is definitely fair to say that results in the results-driven world, he's not one of the top coordinators. When you watch him pre-snap everything he does to kind of change the eyes of the defense, I think Alabama fans are going to appreciate it because I think they have the guys to execute it. Now, if they had Bryce Young, I mean, this would be an obvious choice. They would have everything to execute it. Obviously, quarterback and quarterback development is now going to be something that goes on Reese in a situation where Alabama is losing a Heisman Trophy winner and, of course, you know, perennial top-tier quarterback.